Welcome to the We Drown. Beautiful winter evening. It's cold. It's snowing. No finer place to be than at your favorite bar. I'm about to enjoy a brand new bottle of scotch, the Highland Park 12. This is a scotch that we've been drinking for years, and it's one of the scotches that I'm lucky enough to get a chance to drink almost annually, if not biannually, because you can afford to drink it. It's an attractive bottle to have at your bar because from memory anyway and we'll rediscover this evening it tastes great it's a good tasting scotch i don't want to go into that too much because i'm going to be drawing off my memory and what i want to be doing is experiencing the scotch and really having a chance to ignite the whole process when it comes out of the bottle which is really the best part of drinking scotch the frontier of the new bottle i think it's time to begin looking at what we've got here so it's a black bottle it has orange highlights that stand out along with white and silver I'm quite busy on the back it has a nice side to it 98 1798 and i know that these tracings here are nordic they they have a, a connection to viking culture and there's a connection clearly on the bottle if you look carefully embossed in behind is the H of the Highland Park. 43% alcohol. We're gonna bring this guy out, take a good look. The silver on the backside, so it's a nice little touch. There she lies. So the bottle has a nice color to it. It's the deep amber, a little brown actually in the bottle. If you hold it up to the light, you catch more gold. It's not a traditional bottle. It has a kind of rye whiskey shape to it. It almost feels like a Mickey. <laughs> I always like to take the top off. I like to do it nicely if I can. It doesn't always work out. This one doesn't have much resistance. A little twist, a little lift, and ooh, not bad at all. It's hard to tell much from just smelling the bottle but when you pop the cork off the essence of all that it is is going to somehow escape right away there's going to be a little bit of the spirit that just kind of whiffs away i think that's kind of a neat thing so just generally getting ready to pour a new bottle is a celebration in the direct light you pick up hints of sort of a gold color and then you have a modifying brown mud which i wouldn't say is the most attractive feature but it's just a brown darkening to the overall color of beauty that I'm used to seeing. So over top of everything is a sweet note and then under it is a burn. And it's actually a nice little deal. It's like an invitation, but then there's a warning. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, okay. It's really quite beautiful. It has on the first beginning, the intro to the whole tasting experience, there is a sweet marking hangs hard. I know there's a bit of sherry in this whiskey and you kind of pick that up, but it's a little better than just sherry. It has elements of um, like a different sweetness to it, a more natural sweetness. It powers up in the middle as you begin to really let it come off your tongue and slip down your throat. It spices up, it gets very warm. A wood finish without a burn, doesn't really have much of a burn, maybe just a heat. It, but it has, I guess, a little bit of the peat right in the end part as a closing note. Maybe on the second taste here, maybe there'll be a little more. On that one, I got way more wood, way more peat in the back end. It's very subdued. It's just clear what it is now. It's nicer on the second taste, at least tonight, the way I'm tasting it right now. Less on the second one with sweetness or even the sherry. It's like it almost bypasses that and goes straight into a better flavor. By the third taste, and we're in the groove now. The mouth is enjoying the whole experience and looks forward. It almost seeks that flavor now. I really just like what it's doing. And if you take a little moment to think of what you're paying to have this experience, um, it's pretty, I wouldn't say it's affordable, but you're looking at a, you know, $60 plus taxes 
which in our market here in British Columbia will take you up to about, you know, the $70, just shy of the $70 mark, which is exorbitant. That all being said, it has a lot of value for the taste. In terms of that go-to, have a bottle on your bar all the time, something you can go to, something that you can share with friends that are interested. What it makes me want to do is drink some of the other good ones. Like I would love to have a Highland Park 18. I don't know why, <laughs> just because I think this would benefit from even more time of coming together. When you use the unique flavor algorithm combined with affordability, it drives it up to four stars pretty quickly for me. Another night at the Wee Dram, another excellent whiskey, another worthwhile time spent enjoying the whiskey experience. Cheers. Wondering about the Orkney Islands. Who would have thought on a Wednesday night? But that's the journey that Scotch takes you on. <laughs>